What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, please make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss a video. So today's actually day two that we've had the E46 and I'm just taking care of some things before I take it for Maryland inspection. One of the things that I gotta take care of and I'm gonna start troubleshooting it now, I have the part on order anyway. If I can fix it without the part, I'll just keep it. Uh, just in case it fails, it's real cheap. So what I'm talking about is the washer system. When you hit the windshield washer switch, the wipers go, but there's nothing spraying. And I don't hear anything engaging. So I'm gonna check the pump on the, um, the windshield washer. It's attached to the reservoir here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wheel off, move the fender liner off, and try to access the the pump. So I'm thinking that the pump may be disconnected and that's because the previous owner told me that he had the bumper resprayed and maybe they forgot to plug it in or maybe they knocked it off. So I'm going to start there first because they may not even need it. And if it doesn't, I'm just going to make my appointment to take it in for uh, the Maryland State inspection. Without that, I, I got to wait for the part because it's going to fail. No point in taking it in and then taking it in again. So let's get started. All right, so I believe it's a 17 millimeter. Yep, got my breaker bar here. All right, so you can see it's a new fender liner. We're gonna pop this off a little bit. All right, so I took out the screws, I believe the tank is back in here, inside the bumper. Let's see here, I think I gotta take out a couple more screws. I need a flashlight. We got undo this bottom one here as well. Get it off the bumper. So I went ahead and popped off the connector to the solenoid for the pump. And before I do that, I'm gonna, I've already went ahead and checked the fuses in the fuse box. It's right here underneath in the glove box. You just turn these pins here. I'll drop down, it comes with a little card inside right here. It tells you where all their the fuse is and it is uh, 50, Two is the uh, windshield washer system. Fuse is good, so you can close this back up, put everything back. Push it back up, turn it. Same on the other side right here. So I'm gonna pull this solenoid off. I got these little bins here little pans to catch the little bit of windshield washer fluid that's in there. Just lift up on it and I'll start gushing out the fluid. And there's your solenoid. I'm going to disconnect it. Parts only like uh, you can get it for like thirteen, fifteen dollars. I'll put a link down in the description below if you want to grab one. This is what I don't know if the camera caught it before, but this is what we're replacing. I already have one on order. Hopefully, it comes today. All right, so I went and ran some errands, came back, and the Amazon Prime truck was here, and we have the part. Jack this back up, get the tire off, and let's get back to work. Ow! Scrape my foot on the rotor shield. That's what you get for wearing flip-flops. <laughs> I almost forgot I had these palm ratchets. These are awesome. If you guys don't have one of these, I highly suggest you get a kit. You can get the uh, quarter inch, half inch, three eighths, um, different size that comes in a pack of three. 
They're awesome. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to pick a set of these up. They come in very handy instead of when you're in tight corners and you can't fit a ratchet in there. All oh, right, sound. So we're going to take out the old pump. Take it back out. I, just, I just had it in here, if you remember, just to, so the windshield washer fluid wasn't um, splashing all over. Actually, you know what? There's a lot of dirt and stuff there. I think I'm going to wipe it off first. And I'm going to take this old rubber um, housing off. It does come with a new one here. I'll put the new one in. Push it down until you hear it click into place. That's in. And then we're going to take the new solenoid. And all it does is sit right in here and go in, that, in the tank. I'm going to connect this hose first, this line. Connected. Let's push it into place. And then you turn it a little bit just so this hose goes underneath this lip. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Click. And let's give her a test. I got to put the keys. I may need to add some. Um, some washer fluid, I have some right there. Let's see. Voila! She working. It's working again. I'm gonna go ahead and top her off with the windshield washer fluid. Put everything back. Well, I'm gonna put everything back first and then fill it up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button. Don't forget to turn those notification bells on because you don't want to miss our journey with our E46 that we're going to take. I plan to go crazy with it, but we got to take it a step at a time. We got to get the necessities done first, but we're going to get to performance mod soon. Promise you guys. Oh, this just came in. How you guys like this artwork? We're going to start uh, putting up all the artwork. Got something coming for over here. If you guys miss our garage makeover video, I'll put a link in the description up in the corner, one of these corners. So, get it up close. What motor you think that is? You guys should know this answer. Put in the comments below. All right guys, that'll do it. I'll see you in the next video.